Hi, I'm Kathy Underwood. And I'm Todd McDonald, and we're here to tell you about the eight categories that you will use to develop your own profile. Each person in Paid Accountable Ministry will complete their own unique profile. That profile is called the Skills, Gifts, and Passions Profile. And every congregation is going to develop a Mission and Ministry Profile. But regardless of which profile is being completed, each one will follow the same eight standard categories. So let's take a look at those categories now. The first one is discipleship. Discipleship is about supporting people of all ages to grow in their experience, confidence, and life in God. Justice and outreach. These are activities that we intentionally take in order to further God's vision for justice and peace for all people and for all of creation. Leadership. Leaders help people as a group, both formally and informally, to live out their mission in the world. Ministry partnerships. This speaks to the whole area of how we develop and nurture partnerships, both within our congregation and beyond the walls. These are the partnerships that will help us live out our ministry and our mission. Pastoral and spiritual care. There are always times in our lives when we have a time of crisis or we just need somebody to help us out pastoral and spiritual care. The stewardship category. Well, it is about money, but it's about a lot more than money too. It's about how we encourage one another in mutual giving. It's about how we identify gifts for ministry. And it's also about how we make sure that we use our assets wisely in the work of God. Spirituality and self-care. These are intentional practices that we do as individual Christians to nurture our own faith but also for ministers especially. Uh, spirituality and self-care are essential that our mind, body, and spirituality are nurtured. And finally, there's worship. Last but not least, this is the communal act of praising God together, of confessing, of hearing and listening together, of giving of ourselves, and then of going out together confident and strong to live out our ministry in God's world. Hey, but Kathy, why is worship at the end? Oh, really great question. It's because once the congregation or the ministry personnel has completed all the categories, they're then going to go back and prioritize each one so that they will truly have a reflection of themselves. Maybe worship will be first, maybe justice and outreach will be first, but whatever it is, it will be a reflection of them as a unique individual or as a unique congregation. And if you need more help, you can always go to the Toronto Conference website and download all the information in the handbooks and forms. Or contact a conference personnel minister if you have questions. Thanks for watching.